In this Photoshop tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to put text into a shape here in Photoshop. So we're gonna basically make text boxes that are shapes. They're not just rectangles, and that will be able to include your text into that shape. Okay, so let's delete these layers out. To start, we need some sort of shape. So you can create a shape with something like the ellipse tool or any of these other tools here, even the custom shape tool, or even the pen tool to create a shape. I'm just gonna show you how to make a circle. So put text in a circle. The ellipse tool here, if I click and drag, will make a circle. If I hold shift, it'll make sure it's a perfect circle. So we've created a little circle out here. Now the fill and stroke, make sure the stroke is zero and the fill, we're gonna add a color so that we can see it. That's perfect. All right, place it anywhere on your document. Now, with that layer selected, we need to press T for the type tool. That's the big T in your toolbar. And then just simply click on our ellipse. So what that does is it makes a text box that uses the path of the shape. So I now have a text box on a new layer, a new text layer that is in a circle shape. Now your text box might not have filled in with any text. It could just look like this. What you can do is go up to type, go down to paste lorem ipsum, and it's gonna paste in some text into your text box, and that might fill out your text. Or if you already have text that you're gonna use, you can put it in here. Now, there's a couple other things that your text isn't gonna look quite like this. Your text might look a little something like this. You need to center your text to get it to retain the shape of the text box. And there is this center button, center text right here, but it might not be perfectly center, right? The text doesn't go to the edges. It's just gonna kind of be centered. Now, if you want it to be within the bounds of the shape and not necessarily take the shape itself, then you could use something like that. But I'm gonna go to window, down to paragraph. Inside of paragraph, we need to make sure all the options are being shown and you see these justification options right here. So this is what you see standard at the top of your toolbar, but there's also these options here, which allow you to justify the text from left to right all the way across each line. The difference, as you can see when we click that, the difference in the text is that it will start at the edge on both sides and space out the words in between. So to get this to look really good, you might need to adjust some of the words or add a word here and there. For instance, this last area here, if we were to add a word, we might be able to get that to fit a little better. And so you might need to adjust whatever it's saying inside of your text box to get it to look right. But that's how this text can effectively be in the shape of a circle. Now we do not need this ellipse anymore that we use, so I could hide it. And you can see that the text takes that shape. Now let's say you just wanted a few words and you wanted them to stay inside of the circle shape and maybe cascade down, like wrap, the text should wrap inside this circle in case the words go beyond it. So we're gonna add a header here and this header text I'm gonna make a lot larger, just like this. Now there's a few things here. First off, that header text will stay inside this circle text box no matter what. You can press return and it's gonna kind of fill the shape. Now the other thing that we can do is go back to our straight centered so that it doesn't mess with the spacing between the letters or the words. So we could center the text. What I'm getting at here is that if you want text centered in your text box, unfortunately Photoshop, unlike InDesign, Photoshop doesn't have a center vertically option. So what you could do is grab whatever your header text is once you have it inputted and go back to your paragraph options, actually go to your character options. And there's this guy here, which is like a superscript or a baseline shift essentially. And you could shift this text up and down just like that. And you could hold shift while you shift and use your arrow keys up and down to get it to be in the center. So somewhere around here, uh, somewhere around here is about center for that text inside of that circle. So if I had a circle out here like this, maybe I lighten it up a little, you know, that header text could be centered in there and you can use that baseline shift in the character panel to maybe shift that text around. You might be playing with the uh, letting or the line spacing and also this superscript or not superscript, but baseline shift as well. I'm gonna set it to 10 for everything. And then you can just click and drag this back and forth to kind of center it in your circle. So if you had something like that 
where you had a header that was two lines or something, the baseline shift and using these different options will allow you to get that text vertically centered as well within your text box. So I hope I was able to explain that all okay. If you guys have any questions, just let me know in the comments down below. But that's how you can put text into shapes here in Adobe Photoshop.